I'm not even lying, I feel like I'm gonna die. That's what I feel like right now. The headache that I've been feeling all morning is so excruciating. I don't even know how I'm like doing all of this right now. What, what do you beep for? Like, why are you beeping? Okay, I hate myself. First of all, this was so unnecessary. Why am I able to cry? I'm literally gonna start crying. I don't know what's going on. I woke up this morning and I had literally the most excruciating headache ever. So I went to bed thinking that the next time I would wake up, it would be gone. It's not gone. It's 4 p.m. I haven't done anything. I've been laying in bed, just making myself feel worse, honestly. Like, I need a coffee so bad. If this ibuprofen doesn't kick in and get rid of this headache, there's gonna be no video. Also gonna be no video if I don't get a large Dunkin' coffee inside of my body, ruining my intestines right now. I don't know what's going on. I haven't like woken up yet. You know when you're first waking up in the morning and you feel delusional, but it's like you're up, you're getting ready, and then like that kind of fogginess like goes away relatively fast, like 30 minutes after you wake up. It's been like six hours since I woke up and that fogginess of like still being like half asleep hasn't gone away. I'm gonna get some more food in me, I'm gonna get a coffee, we're gonna hopefully get this ibuprofen kicking into gear, and then we're gonna film a video. I don't know what this video is, I kind of love that that's what's been going on. Every time I start a video now, it's like, I don't know what this video is. I don't know what I'm gonna do today, but you're just gonna come with me That's what's going on I have a bunch of errands that I have to run for my mom right now And then I have um some work that I need to get done today at some point I think my mom had surgery like two weeks ago and she just got back from the hospital the other day She's not allowed to like drive or really like do much So I've been running errands for her and I swear every day. She's got a new list every day Thanks, Jenny and Duncan. What can I get for you? Okay, I'm just gonna do a large vanilla iced coffee. I need cream and sugar in that. Um, actually, can I do a iced vanilla latte? I'll take one of your sweet black pepper bacon croissants. I'm like literally having an aneurysm. Okay, what? Why am I like tweaking? I hate myself. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm sort of an idiot, but I caught myself being an idiot this time. And then if you could pull up to one of the parking stop spots, we'll bring your phone okay, right out. Okay, thank you. Yep. First of all, this was so unnecessary. I was, I, <laughs> earlier in this video, literally just a second ago, I said, also going to be no video if I don't get a large Dunkin' coffee inside of my body, ruining my intestines right now. That was like me joking, because obviously I don't need this much coffee to get my day started. So I was going back and forth between a medium and a large, and I got the large, and then I also almost got a plain ass, gross ass coffee like I always do. At Dunkin', I never know what to get. I never know what I'm gonna get. Every time I order... Oh, she's cooking. Thank you so much. Of course. But, um, every time I order a coffee at, like, Starbucks, I order, like, specifically what I want. Like, you know, I got my whole list of things that I get in my coffee and, like, little customizations and stuff. But at Dunkin', I don't know how to do that. So I always just get either, like, an iced caramel macchiato or an iced vanilla latte. But, I forget to say the latte part and I just say a vanilla iced coffee and then I end up getting like black coffee with like a squirt of vanilla in it it's disgusting luckily I got my vanilla latte we're gonna try it because it always tastes different also their food always tastes different sometimes I get their hash browns and they taste wonderful they're amazing and then sometimes I get them and they taste like chemicals so I don't know what's going on back there but <laughs> I'm not like a Dunkin girl though I really only get Dunkin when I feel like I'm dying, which is really counterintuitive because, whoa, counterintuitive, that's not the right word, but I thought I was doing something. Counterproductive, counterproductive is what I meant. Very counterproductive that I get Dunkin' when I feel like I'm dying because it makes me feel like I need to die a little bit more. Why am I about to cry? I'm literally gonna start crying. <laughs> There's tears in my eyes. Okay, okay, she's okay. She's a little sweet for me, okay, girly. If I drink all this, I actually might go into cardiac arrest, but I don't even care. So for my errands that I need to run, my mom wrote me that little list, but I also have some things that I wrote in my notes earlier that I just need. I feel like my best bet is to go to like Target or Walmart because I need like some food items, but then I also need 
like home items should i just go to walmart it's literally right there i don't really understand all of like the disrespect and backlash that walmart gets yes there's some weird people at walmart okay there's weird people everywhere i'm really just trying to go i don't even give a f if i hit anybody if i hit somebody i gotta hit somebody um <gasps> fuck mm, i thought i was doing some huh reserved for expectant mothers how are they gonna know if i'm pregnant or not why did you park like that you dumbass Sorry, I get like heated about like the most random things. Definitely one of my biggest pet peeves. Or, no offense, but motorcycles and parking spots. Why don't we create parking spots that are just for the motorcycles? Like just like four spots right at the front. I don't know, really I don't know. But if I became president, I would create parking spots for moker, moke, smokers. <laughs> Okay, I officially know why people don't like Walmart. It's because there's no drink holder in the cart. I hate Walmart. I know I was talking Walmart up just a minute ago, but we have beef now. Their store is organized in such a dumb way. House decor, art supplies, more house decor. How am I supposed to find anything? Oh my god. Get over you Okay, I've been home for like an hour, but my room is kind of a mess and I need to clean it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. is like really awkward and there's like plants and sh this is my nightstand and it's a mess so I'm gonna take right now to declutter it and then I also have this drawer it's very messy and has never been organized so we're gonna go ahead and organize that I feel like I need to like take it out oh it's so heavy I'm just gonna take everything out and then we'll go from there these are little pictures that I meant to hang up on my wall so long ago I also have some bigger posters and I completely redid my room probably like a year ago now I started filming like a video like I was gonna do like a re doing my room and I haven't been able to film like the final room tour yet because I wanted to hang all my posters and stuff on the wall but then my mom told me we were gonna move so I was like why would I hang all these posters posters if we're gonna move and now we're not moving so maybe I should hang these right now here is now my nightstand it looks a lot better I absolutely hate my skylight so ugly I don't know why I didn't get like an off-brand one that's actually like cute because this is so ugly like it's just so ugly but I have my little plant and then I have my lamp here's what my drawer looks like now it looks a lot better it still doesn't look organized but like I have everything in these little like compartments now I don't know it's a lot more organized to me Okay, you guys, I'm not entirely sure what is in here. I mean, this is like little poster things. And I think there's big ones in here. But I think it's time to hang them. I feel like it's been long enough. Okay, so there's this one. I really don't know if you can see. There's two that are this size. Okay, and then there's these little tiny ones. I'm gonna lay them all out. Um, this one I really like because it's big, but I don't really love like just how it looks with the rest of my room. Like, I don't know if that's very cute. I don't know if it fits the vibe because all of these are kind of cohesive and then that one's kind of just like different like it's cute but do i just hang it screw it is that straight at all 
Okay, here's what it looks like. I kind of hate it. I don't know, it looks really bad on camera. I think that's why I don't like it, but in person it kind of looks good. Like it's kind of cute, right? I don't know. It is like kind of fun, but like for some reason I just don't like it. Hey guys, it's literally the next day. I did not intend for this video to like cross over days, but I never ended it yesterday. I put those posters up and then I got a text that we were going to my friend's house, so I immediately started getting ready. I ate some dinner and then I went to my friends but I just went to take Instagram pictures and then I got Starbucks and now I'm at the grocery store once again once again I've literally gone to the grocery store like five times in the last four days and I'm going insane basically I need to get some more frozen chicken because I guess the chicken I got for my dogs was not it um, it had bones in it so I hate Walmart you guys suck I love how I was like a Walmart advocate at the beginning of this video and now I absolutely hate Walmart I never want to go back there we're gonna get back to my house and I'm gonna show you guys kind of how my room looks in the daylight because I actually do kind of like it I don't know I still have mixed opinions about the posters but I think it looks better in the daylight when it's like cute and bright in my room my life is literally falling apart right now okay you guys I'm home now it's been a little bit but I wanted to wrap this video up like I said I would by showing you how the posters look when it's light outside okay wait let me back up this is like what my room looks like from this point of view I don't know I think it's kind of cute right or no it definitely is cute like it adds something because before it was so plain so I definitely like that there's like something but I just kind of wish I would have like spaced these ones out different like it looks like I attempted to do a circle around it but didn't succeed when in reality I didn't even try to like do them around it but yeah that's what it looks like I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it was quite strange um I want to sit down but I love you guys so much thanks for watching I'll see you next time